I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members for your continued support. Thank you. And consider joining today for added perks and exclusive content. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Blaster and Eject and I'm really, really excited about this one. Released early in 2022, this is brand new and starting to hit store shelves right now as of the time of this recording. I just found mine on the shelf this morning. This is a Voyager class figure and it retails for approximately $30. So here we have the what is gonna be i guess we're coming to the end of kingdom right so we've got the kingdom box art that we're very familiar with we got the transformers logo on the side small window showing us the top of the robot and then we got some really cool artwork right here of blaster both in his robot and in his um stereo uh mode his boombox stereo mode there no artwork of eject which is kind of weird Going around the side here, we've got that Kingdom Splash artwork right there. And then along the back, we got some product shots of Blaster and Eject this time around. So we can see Blaster again in his robot and in his radio mode. And then we can see him here ejecting Eject. And then we can see Eject down here in his cassette and his robot mode. We got 20 steps of transformation. Of course, I'm sure that's for Blaster. Uh, that doesn't count the ones for Eject there. That's about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and check it out. And here we have Blaster out of the package, transformed into his boombox mode and shown with everything he comes included. And I love this toy. I have been having so much fun fiddling with and playing with this figure. It checks all the right nostalgia boxes for me. Absolutely love it. Let's take a look at everything he comes with first. So, of course, we get the sticker card that we've been getting with all of these Kingdom figures. I got Unicron one more time, and hopefully that's showing up on camera for you without too much of glare. And then we're going to peel this back and see what we have below. For those of you that don't know, we found out here on this channel in the middle of a review that while the stickers may be the same, the card behind may not be these cards change so you always want to peel it back at least peel it back part way and look at the card to see what you got back there so i've got a uh, unicron eating cybertron i'm pretty sure i got this one too so there we go we got another unicron card right there of course we've got sheet of instructions which are right on par with all of the kingdom sheet of instructions that we've been getting i really like the white or the green on white that we've been getting it makes things really easy to see and the instructions are very very clear so there you go there's the instructions for you taking a look at the toys themselves we got blaster who again we have transformed in his boombox mode already we've got eject which we have transformed into his uh, cassette mode of sorts i guess and we get this blaster so let's take a closer look at the blaster real quick so you can see what this looks like and i'm having a hard time getting a good angle here because i got the camera down so low there we go so there you go taking a look at that blaster absolutely love this blaster because it looks so much like the original one maybe yeah, there we go so there's a g1 blaster here's the new blaster and it's very evocative they look very very similar with the exception of that hole right there in the middle other than that yeah they did a fantastic job of translating that original G1 blaster and make yeah, blaster for blaster and uh yeah modernizing it but still making it look retro very very nice absolutely love that so we'll take that we'll set that off to the side actually the thing you can do uh you can store the weapon in the boombox mode there's a little slot right back there on the handle and there's a little tab right back here so you can actually take his weapon this is the intended storage for it so you can actually just tap it back there, and there you go. You can do that. Something that I've been playing around with, however, is that you can take one of these. I think I used this one here. There's a couple of ports back here. I think I used this one, and you can just kind of tap the weapon right there, and it looks like an antenna. So that works for me. I kind of like that. <laughs> so um, there you go. Uh, let me get this guy out so that we can show you Eject real quick. 
and uh, actually yeah let's do that so here's eject in his cassette mode and this guy's pretty tiny and i find eject to be pretty cool with the exception of and this is every, something that everybody said about this eject he's done in his uh in this transparent uh blue plastic and uh yeah we can't figure out why they did it like this uh this just doesn't make any sense uh, a solid blue color would have been so much better for this guy uh this, this honestly this looks terrible like the 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 uh, mold itself looks great but the the deco on this this is just absolutely terrible but um yeah if you can see the details are all molded in he does have the cassette details molded in so he does look like a cassette if he was properly painted then we we would actually be able to see that compared to his g1 counterpart there he is um so you can see what these guys look like together and of course g1 counterpart did a lot better job of looking like a cassette than this guy did let me put this guy away over here and then to get this guy here in uh, blaster all we got to do is press that in and you'll notice you're not pressing down like you would uh, like you would normally with uh with any of these moon boxes or like you would have with uh, with soundwave pressing down on the button you're actually pushing straight in so you push straight in that's uh spring loaded that comes right out and then you can take eject pop them right in there and there you go there you got blaster uh all transformed and uh, concealed away looking like a boom box and a cassette uh, and even the weapon looks like a little uh, like a little um, antenna there so not bad this uh, boom box mode is approximately five and a half inches long and about just a little, about three and a three three and a quarter inches uh, tall right there and all of the details are super super nice you got the little handle right there i mean this is again checking all the right nostalgia boxes you got your little handle right there you got the red with the grays you got the black details here for the speakers and the tweeters and all of the different little knobs and whatnot all of the details are there looking really good and i absolutely love the shades of red and yellow and how bright that autobot logo looks right there on that yellow background and then you got the little blue window right here that looks so so good and just going all the way around you've got a little couple more tweeters here on the side which is really nice and even the back of the boom box with the exception of the weapon being there is fairly clean i mean you'd be hard pressed to say yeah that's a robot folded up which it is and those of us that know what we're looking for we can see all the robot parts but you know for those that may not know yeah you'd be hard pressed to know that that is an actual robot right there that looks really really nice so a couple of comparisons here he is with kingdom soundwave uh or the this was the netflix soundwave so you can see what these guys look like together i mean these guys are after all uh bitter bitter rivals so we want to look at these guys together absolutely love the way that looks boombox and tape recorder this looks fantastic and then of course we are going to check him out next to his g1 counterpart so you can see what these guys look like together that is absolutely awesome and again this guy is checking all the boxes and uh, making, you know, looking like the original one, but at the same time being a modern uh, and more uh, accurate figure. Absolutely love the way that looks. With the original one, you press down here, that pops that open, and then you can eject, eject, just like that. We'll leave those guys off to the side. And then again, over here, we can press that, and then we can eject, <laughs> eject let's take a look at eject real quick let's get his transformation done real quick super simple we're going to start down here at the bottom of the cassette and we're just going to fold these down bring this down all the way and then rotate the leg forward and again all of the robot details are in there they are molded in but we can't see them because they're on this dumb translucent plastic and then this piece is going to come down rotate that out to see the fist so again bring this down rotate it to show off the fist i'm going to reach back here bring the head up and rotate that around and there's eject in his robot mode and again he he's he would look good if he wasn't transparent um again it, it, the mold is a fantastic mold of eject all of the details are there. The head sculpt is fantastic. The chest looks good. You know, you got the little molded fist right there. You got all the little details molded in. You got the feet, little details on the shins. It's all there. We just can't see it because it's all transparent, which is dumb. But uh, there you go. There's Eject right there in robot mode. 
articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so you can rotate the head and make it go up and down some. The shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around. You can go in and out at the shoulder, ball joints at the elbows. Nothing at the waist. Uh, let's see, we got a pin joint here at the hips, so we can go forward and backwards, and we can go in and out. And then, of course, we got that ball joint right there on the knee, so we can bend the knee, and we can also rotate the legs out some. So, again, nicely detailed, nicely articulated figure that is completely ruined by being <laughs> transparent. Um, I know what they're going to do. I know that we're going to get another version of this guy in proper colors, and, and I'm a sucker, and I am going to buy it. Absolutely, I am. But what are you going to do? All right, let's get this guy set off to the side and let's get started on Blaster himself. All right, so we're going to start right back here. Weapon, just pop that off, set it off to the side, regardless of where you have it. Take the handles and split these apart and then rotate the handles backwards. And these are going to go right down here. There's a little port down here on the side, on the, on the handles themselves. They're going to go into these pegs on the back of the boom box right there. So peg that in, peg that in. That's all set. Now... Let's bring the side. We're basically going to break this apart here on the sides. There are tabs. You got to kind of work this through. There you go. So let me bring this 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 one out first. That's not supposed to come out yet. All right. So there there's tabs here on the inside of this panel that are tabbed into that slot right there. So you want to bring that out. And uh, it helps actually if we take the skirt and bring this up as well. There are tabs here on the back of the hips that are tabbed into these slots right here on the skirt piece. So you untab from here, you untab these two, and then you bring the entire leg down. Finally, there's another tab right in there that goes into that slot right inside of the arm, right in there. So you do that, and we're going to close. Do we close this yet? Or Oh, we're going to take this top of this panel right here. This is going to fold in like that. Then we can close that. That's going to snap in place. We can rotate the leg. Am I rotating the right direction? Nope. We're going to rotate the leg out that way. Take this little speaker right here. This is going to spin around. And then we're going to reach right down here and pull his foot out. Come on, foot. I said, pull the foot out. We'll get that. Okay, what is... <laughs> what the heck's going on? Let me do this side over here. For, so, untab all of this. Bring this down. Close that. Close that. Is there a way to get in there? Maybe. Let's go ahead and rotate the waist around. Is there a way to... Boy, that is... Decided it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use my weapon. <laughs> what the heck is going on? That, face, that did not want to come out. That's insane. But anyway, there you go. You got the feet out, and we rotated him at the waist. Take the skirt back here, and then just bring that down. You're all set there. Bring the arms up like so. Take the, okay, this this actually gets really interesting. Let me bring the camera up so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so this red cover here on the outside part of the arm, this is going to rotate out like that. And then the fist is going to rotate the rest of the way like that. You'd think the fist would go into the arm. It doesn't. And then you can just straighten that out and bring the arm down. So same thing over here. We're going to bring the red piece out, rotate that out, rotate the fist into place. Bring the arm down and rotate the forearm to get that into place. Finally, we're going to come around the back here, open up this panel, and pop his head out. Come on, head. Pop out. <laughs> Close that up. And uh, there we go. There we have Blaster in his robot mode. Standing approximately seven inches tall. And again, I love this toy. This guy looks so so good. First things first, let's come in close. Let's take a look at that face sculpt. Check that out. That is 100% G1 cartoons on screen blasters face right there. Absolutely love that. It looks so good. You got the whole face is done in gray or like a silver. You got that silver kind of a helmet here on the on the front part of the helmet itself. And then the eyes, I don't know if you can see, but the eyes are done in, in like this metallic light blue that looks really, really nice. And then that, of course, that's all covered with the rest of the red helmet. It looks so, 
so good and then taking a look at the rest of the details this guy is blaster through and through you got that classic red chest with the red autobot logo right there you got all the buttons right there on his torso and then you got the red arms with the black details going down into the silver legs with the speakers down there and the red the red parts for the legs looking really really nice going all the way around not a whole lot of hollow spots to speak of there's some hollowness here on the arms right there and there's a little bit of hollowness here on the back of the thighs but because everything is done in black it actually kind of hides away you don't really see it and of course there is no kibble to speak of he's just clean clean robot the uh, tape deck as you would think it does still work so you can still press that you still pop that open and then you can put the eject in there if you'd like uh, we're all we're all in robot modes now so i guess we can just leave that out so that still works right there articulation wise the head can move it is on a ball joint so you can move up and down you can do a little bit of inquisitive tilting and you can turn it side to side the shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around and in and out rotation at the bicep bend at the elbow nothing do we have nothing nope we don't we don't nothing at the wrist unfortunately we do have waist rotation and then of course the legs can go forward that far back that far because of the skirt but you can always pop that skirt up and then bring it back the rest of the way and then of course you got that in and out rotation at the thigh bend at the knee and we've got ankle tilt for days check that out surfing usa right there really really nice so let's get this guy armed up so check this out i like i really like this so they kind of went the way of what they did with soundwave if you remember soundwave had the finger coming out of his uh left hand so that you could do the pose like he was pressing his eject button right so they did the same something similar with blaster and they did give him uh a trigger finger so when you give him his weapon it actually looks like he's properly holding his weapon and practicing actual proper uh trigger safety <laughs> which is really really nice love it uh again uh, i can't tell you i love this toy this is such a nice figure this is it's it's funny how the simplest figures the ones that turn into boxes turn out to be the most fun sometimes this is absolutely fantastic doing a couple of comparisons so let's take a look at eject one more time and we're gonna bring in g1 eject so you can see what these guys look like together and, and again you can see they did a really good job on this new one of uh being evocative of the old one right uh it looks just like the old one uh but just modernized with more details and better articulation they just completely ruined it by making a clear plastic instead of actually giving a proper paint job but there you go that's what those two guys uh look like together we'll set these guys down here and then of course we're going to check this guy out next to kingdom or netflix soundwave because you know better rivals better enemies you can see what these guys look like together and they of course they look absolutely fantastic here standing together and they would look even better in some sort of a battle pose there uh so there you go yeah looking really really good and of course we're gonna take a look at him with his g1 counterpart so you can see what these guys look like together and again really good job of taking this classic look and bringing it up to date and making it look nice and modern and clean um you know nothing wrong with the toy head the toy head is the toy head those of us that grew up with the toy head love the toy head but i absolutely love that they gave us that cartoon head absolutely love that and i think that about does it for the transformers war for cybertron kingdom blaster what did you think of this figure let me know down in the comments give me some thumbs up hang on there you go <laughs> subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when i upload a new video i've got a donate button up there and now i also offer channel memberships and if you're inclined to do either one of those i would greatly appreciate it please share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time